All right, so it's another day in quarantine. I'm outside getting my daily dose of vitamin D. But, so, next up, we're gonna be pulling the engine on this bad mammy jamma here. And then we're gonna have to diagnose what old Jamie did to her. Darn dude broke it as our toy. So, they got all the painted in here and everything, so now it's not gonna rust. It looks really, really good. I can't wait to rip this thing again, man. I'm gonna have to secretly put together all motor motor so that I can keep it real and NASCAR. Cause I mean, if they put a turbo on it, then there's it's not even a NASCAR we got anymore. It's just a fin, just a S10 body on a Pro 10 frame with a Honda engine. That's all it really is. Then it's not even a NAS truck no more. So we gotta keep her NAS truck naturally aspirated and haul in, but. Because, I mean, it'll even take away the tone of our exhaust. I mean, if we put a turbo on this, it's going to sound muffled, and it's not even going to be cool anymore. Like, we can't do that. We can't even... Nah, dog. So, that's going to be next up. It's going to be sick. After me and Gordo parked the EF here, it just randomly lost fuel pump power, so I need to go ahead and trace everything down. Uh, we already checked all the fuses. It does have ECU power, so it's not the main relay, and we did swap the main relay because originally we thought it was because we couldn't see the little green light in there on the Honda, but now we can, and it does click the main relay, and so we have everything but the, uh, the fuel pump, so it doesn't run anymore. Somehow, we just parked it here, and then it just stop working so me and Gordo got to figure this out today and then we got an integer here in here we got to figure out as well so we're gonna go ahead and figure out these two little wiring gremlins and get these two cars running again and, and hopefully get them back to their owners so we got to go ahead and figure out why this here integer doesn't start um, it's definitely missing a lot of stuff and it's got some some wires that are cut and broken over here so it could be distributor but it also could be his VTEC wire because he doesn't have his VTEC wire hooked up here and his distributor wires all look like they're there except for this one that they teed off here. But it's a tee off, not a, like it still goes to its its actual color. So I gotta trace all that around and figure out what that is. But it's missing two nuts here and I'm sure other little things. So we just gotta do our thorough check and run through this thing and make sure it's good. It is a B20 LS VTEC with a GSR head see it's got the the gsr intake manifold there and the little oil line for the vtec solenoid right there so vtec gets oil it's real cool really sweet love integers man <laughs> so me and gordo are the lunch crew today we're rolling down to the mcdonald's just up the road since you know it's essential so we need our fast food you know what i mean yeah we need the mcdonald's it's it's essential show them what i was talking about the other day all those wires everything's all butt connected and you jumped around yeah, it's a bit of a mess down there the car was was originally done in 2001 2002 ish it's when everything kind of was painted and everything my uncle was the original owner of the car he uh had it turboed and everything gsr and it had a gritty turbo kit back in the day it had ac and everything and nitrous purge solenoids it didn't have nitrous but it had a purge so it looked all cool all fast and furious with the underglows and everything. The car was really, really sweet. But since then, it's gone through. I mean, he sold it to my dad's buddy, and then my dad bought it back, and my dad sold it to his girlfriend, and it, then it blew up. And since then, my sister's had it, and now I have it. So I'm kind of trying to bring it back to life. I've got a ride wire board and a bunch of little things. So hopefully, we can get this thing going good, man. Love my baby. Yeah. Turn it back to its former glory. Oh, I am. Oh, Dang. Man. Look at that. Make sure we got everything. We yeah, have the burritos and sauces and yeah. burritos. There it is. There it is. Should be... So the, the reverse sensor's broken off, but this, this was plugged in here. And this is the, uh, like, this is a power or something for the harness. This is in reverse. So this was probably where we had our short and it was sparking possibly. So turn the key real quick and see if we get a, like hit, hit the crank real quick. See if we get a spark or not. Where was it? Arcing? It was like right, right here. Mm. Alright, what do you got now? 
Nothing? That's incredible. You got a battery charger on there. The dome light's not even on? Why? It was on before. That's silly. All we did was unplug this. Well, really, it, it fell off, but. Yeah, which is reverse stuff. Yeah, it's definitely reverse. It's right there on the yeah, harness. It's the green and yellow. I can, I got, I got a reverse plug up there. I can pull one down and solder another one on. Off. Yeah, yeah, no problem. That's easy, but I just. Uh... The battery's not pulling amps down there, and it's, I mean, it's at the bottom of the green. Okay. That's a definitely a power. Thermostat ground was tight when I checked it. Where are we going to end it? This. There's really nothing. I mean, there's this orange one, but it's plugged in. Like, red with the yellow. This is the same we got right here. You can see it would plug in here. Right. Yeah, that's where it would slide on. It's just, where's the plug? And, no, that's a four wire. That's only a two. Unless this one's a Civic one. Oh, a Civic harness? Yeah, into a. They probably did. Integra. Yeah, they probably because they did it. They did a. They did a LSV tech swap, so they probably did the OB1 distributor and did the whole Civic harness. Yeah, that could be. So this is the harness we just pulled out. Uh, it's it must be from an EG because it's slightly different. So I know I did solder some things on and crimp this on here, but that's all right. This is still usable, and uh, we can use this stuff later on. All of it, pretty much. But this is out of VTech Vicky. 
and this is the right harness except that the alternator plug is going to be different because it's OBD2 and this is the OBD1 alternator and OBD1 distributor but I have a jumper part harness for the distributor and so I'm just going to have to make I'll take that plug right here probably or I mean I can use that one either either one and I'll just change the plug so the distributor plugs in and then everything else should work because I already got the, the injectors ready to go on so I'll do that and uh do that and uh alternator and then the, the harness should just go right in and should solve a lot of the gremlins hopefully it just powers up because we're not going to be plugging reverse into the wrong spot and and causing some weird shorts yeah <laughs> yeah yeah definitely strange ground in the 12 volt <laughs>
But all right, all right, all right. That's it. Got this thing all ready to go in. We'll get this back in the car and then hopefully we have a lot more progress with when we power the key on. I'm hoping. Hopefully. So we're gonna go in this side first. All right, so Sean got this tube all welded up for me for that red car, that red K-Series. Look, he even got those the loop welded up, so now I don't have to do the loop, and the bracket's all fixed right there, so super sweet. We got the harness going in all here. I've got this side all plugged in so far, except for the speed sensor and the fan switch. Uh, map sensor, all that's plugged in. Knock sensor there. Um, we gotta do the IAC over there, and Gordo's doing the alternator over there. So. Then we gotta pull the injectors the rest of the way through. They're just chilling right there, so we gotta pull them up over. And uh, while I'm plugging these things in, Goro is doing the uh, amber corners and the blinkers on the Integra. So it is gonna look super good with those. And Gordo's hooking it up, man. Thanks, dog. Yeah. All right, so we got the harness plugged in all the way around, except for the uh, intake air temp sensor here. We gotta lengthen that a little bit because it's normally right here on the, the LS, so this just got, is gonna need to be lengthened. But we should be able to give it some power and see if it has any power. That'll be the first big step, okay. if, it, if it has any power. Yeah, this is weird, man. Definitely a weird, weird car, but that's a big fix there. We got the, the cut, you know, pretty beat harness out of it. And this one's much cleaner, much nicer, and it's got, the goofy built flare on it so it's gonna go good we're gonna get this thing all sorted out we're gonna get it in the air for now it's raining so we're gonna get the crx in and uh we're gonna mess around a little bit and then we'll get out of here for the day but i hope you guys all enjoy this video and you guys like comment and subscribe down below it's pretty sweet yeah hit the bell hit the bell Ding.